quarantine free travel for international students, arrival plans for Western Australia and Northern Territory, updated list of vaccines approved in Australia for travel purposes, and Australia's vaccination rates. These are some of the things we are going to cover in today's video. So let's jump straight to the news. Now the first news is in regarding the quarantine scrapped for international students in New South Wales. New South Wales Premier has made an announcement that international students arriving in New South Wales from December onwards will not be required to do any quarantine at all as long as they are fully vaccinated with the TGA approved vaccines. Earlier, the plan was to bring international students and they needed to do a quarantine in one of the accommodation facility that was approved for quarantine purposes. But that plan has been scrapped, which means that students who are coming now, as long as they are fully vaccinated with TGA approved vaccine, they will no longer be required to do a quarantine. As planned earlier, the pilot program to bring international students in New South Wales will be starting from December 6 onwards, with the first flight arriving with around 250 students on board from 15 different countries. That includes countries like Indonesia, Singapore, Vietnam, South Korea, China and Canada. Second flight carrying students from South Asia and India is also scheduled to arrive after that. The date of that flight has not been confirmed yet. And again, this is a very positive news with students not needing to do quarantine at all as long as they're fully vaccinated with TG approved vaccines. Although it is just a pilot program to begin with in December, but will hopefully students be able to come back in larger numbers before the start of next semester. And New South Wales government in the previous announcements made clear that as well. That these pilot programs will run in December to see how things go, but after that, they're hoping to scale up these numbers before the start of next semester in 2022. And we do get a lot of questions regarding which are the vaccines that are approved by TGA for travel purposes in Australia. So there was an update where a couple of other vaccines were added to the list of already approved TGA vaccines. So here is an updated list of all the TGA approved vaccines in Australia. Pfizer, AstraZeneca, Moderna, Janssen, Covishield, Sinovac, Sinopharm and Covaxin. We try to provide updates on all these news as soon as we get to know. So make sure to follow us on Instagram where we provide these updates on a regular basis. The Western Australian government also launched their plan to bring international students. It goes without saying that Western Australia has one of the strict policies regarding border reopening in Australia. Even Australian citizens within Australia cannot travel to Western Australia at the moment because of these strict border policies. The Western Australian government made announcements that they will be reopening their borders once they reach 90% fully vaccinated targets. And these vaccination targets must be for the people aged 12 and above. It is estimated that Western Australia will reach these targets by the end of January or early February. Western Australian government has declared that they will be getting around 5,000 students to come back to Western Australia by early 2022. There is no further details as yet how these students will arrive what's the plan for quarantine, if any, or any other details regarding that as yet. And there is also no specific date regarding the reopening of the borders within Australia and for international travelers in Western Australia as yet. They will make an announcement sometimes when they reach 80% fully vaccinated targets. And we are hoping that they will achieve this target by sometime in December 2021. So we'll have a clearer picture of when Western Australia is actually planning to open up their borders. At the moment, there is no community transmission of COVID-19 in Western Australia. So Western Australian government has made very strict policy regarding these border openings. And the government has also made it clear that they have one of the lowest unemployment rates in Australia with around only 3.9% population looking for jobs in Western Australia, which is one of the lowest rates in regards to unemployment rates in Australia. Last but not the least is Northern Territory's plan to bring international students. Northern Territory government is also working to put together a proposal to federal government for bringing international students back in Northern Territory. If this proposal is approved by the federal government, 
Northern Territory will see around 180 students returning back to Northern Territory in January 2022. Government also acknowledged that international students make a huge contribution to Northern Territory's economy, with each student contributing around $40,000 each year to the Northern Territory's economy. And to get more international students on board, Charles Darwin University has been offering around 25% discount on their tuition fees for international students. And last but not the least, Australia's vaccination rates. As per the current updates, around 90% of Australians aged 16 or above have got at least one dose with COVID-19 vaccines. And more than 82% of the people are fully vaccinated. And Australia is going to take over many other countries in regards to the vaccination rates, even though the rollout was very slow at the beginning. And with these high numbers, we are really hoping that government takes steps in order to bring back international students sooner than expected. Fingers crossed for that. And a little bonus news for international students coming specifically from India. Prime Minister Scott Morrison, while meeting with Indian community in Melbourne, made an announcement that it's not too long for international students from India to arrive back in Australia. When asked this question, Prime Minister said that we are looking forward to international students coming back to Australia not too long now, not too long now. So that was the latest updates regarding international education in Australia. We hope you do find the information useful. If you do, please make sure to like it, share it, and let us know your thoughts on these news in the comment section as well. All the articles we have used to research this information will be available in the description below. So make sure to check them out as well. And as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.